Hi everybody and welcome back to Music Theory Lessons. Today we will be learning about intervals. Now we have already learned about two different intervals in our previous lessons. We learned about half steps and we learned about whole steps. Half steps are one key of a piano up to the very next key of a piano. And we also learned about whole steps. Whole steps are two half steps put together. Uh, let's start off this lesson the exact same way that we've started off every lesson so far, by drawing a piano at the top of our page. We'll draw a big U across, cut it in half, cut that halves in half for quarters, and then cut the quarters in half for eighths. And then let's fill in our T's, one, two, and then we have three in a row, and one more at the end. Bring them up to make the T's for our black keys. And then fill in C, D, E, F, whoops, G, A, B, and C. And then fill in C sharp, which is enharmonic to D flat. And then D sharp and Oh, that's not a sharp. D sharp and E flat. And then F sharp and G flat. And then G sharp and A flat. A sharp and B flat. And then C sharp is the same thing as D flat for those enharmonic notes. Enharmonic is when you have two different names for the same note. Uh, and in review of half steps and whole steps, the distance between C and D is a whole step because there is a note in between. The distance between E and F is a half step because there is no note in between. And Let's just fill in the rest of these. You don't have to fill this out. We will be writing about different things. Whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. So if this already doesn't make sense, you should go back to my first video where we talk about whole steps and half steps, and then make your way back up to this video. In this video, we are going to call whole steps and half steps seconds. We're going to call them seconds. So the distance between C to D, D to E, E to F, F to G, we're actually just going to boil them down to the same thing. We're just going to call them seconds. So if these are seconds from C to D is a second, from C to E we're going to call a third. From C to F we're going to call a fourth. From C to G, we are going to call a fifth. From C to A, sixth. Sixth. From C to B, seventh. And from C to C, we won't call it an eighth because we have a special name for it. That is called an octave. Is an octave. So let's start off with this little grid. Please write this down after me. C to D equals second. C to E equals third. C to F equals fourth. Whoops. C to G equals fifth. C to A equals sixth. C to B, C going up to B is a seventh. And then C going up to the next C is the word octave. Oct, like octagon or octopus. 
octave, A-V-E, octave, meaning eight tones or eight notes. And if we count, that's what we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, whoops, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that can be the kind of weird thing. One, you start on one, you don't start on zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to create C to C, which is an octave. If we had an extra note all the way over here where we went to the D note, that two would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, an octave from D to D, or an octave from F to the next F, way above that. So, so far we've only done this in comparison to C's, but this is true no matter what's going on. If we go from a D to an E, it is a second. Let's write down a couple of these. A D to E equals a second. A, an E to a G equals a third, because we have a letter in between. And then let's do a harder one. What is D to B? So we can just count. We start with saying one on the D. One, two, three, four, five, six. So from D to B is, let me get rid of this, from D up to B equals a sixth. Now I'm going to erase a lot of my work here, but I hope you keep your work on your page. So even though from C up to D, from C up to D is a second, if we were to think of this the other direction, it is still the same thing. From D down to C, we still call that a second, as well as uh, any other interval. From D up to F, we're going up by a third, and it is the same coming down. We're going from F down to D by a third. If we were uh, playing a piece of music and we had a D note going up to an F note, that would be going up by a third. If we had an F note going down to a D note, that would be going down by a third. So let me just give you a little quiz. So at the bottom of your page, please write these questions, and then I'll have you fill them out, and then we'll work on it afterwards together. So let's go D to G equals, and we'll have C to A, and then here's uh, E to B equals, equals, and, oh, I'm out of room. I'll do it over here. And let's go G to B. B to D. E up to the next E. And let's go G to D going up. These are all D going up to G, C going up to A, E going up to B, G going up to B. Okay, um, go ahead and pause the video right here and then fill in the rest of these answers right there. Come back to me when you are done. Okay, by now you should be done filling in these answers because you paused the video, and let's go through these together. From D to G is a fourth because we have one, two, three, four. Fourth, from C to A, 
is a sixth because we have one, two, three, four, five, six. That is a sixth. From E going up to B, we have one, two, three, four, five. That is a fifth. I need to erase some of this. Sixth, fifth. From G going up to B is a third. From B going up to D, which would actually be above C, is also a third. That was kind of a tricky one. Oh, I need to erase that. And then from E going up to the E above it is an octave. So we write out the full word. We will not write eighth or anything weird like that. Octave. And then from G going up to, oh, I gotta go back. And then from G going up to D is a fifth. Because there are one, two, three, four, five, right there. Because this goes on infinitely in either direction. A piano is limited, but technically the notes exist above and below the range of the piano and the range of whatever instrument you play. And uh, today's lesson only dealt with the natural notes right here, but as we dive into the, the, the sharp notes, it will make things a little bit more, uh, a little bit different, but not quite. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Besides that, have an awesome day and uh, good luck. All right.